Today we're going to make a nice homemade cottage pie. I am to feed my family of five for less than five pounds using ingredients that are simple and easy to find at any of your local supermarkets. And I'm going to walk you through the steps you need to make it yourself. Okay, to start the dish, you will get your frying pan up to temperature and add a little dash of oil. And when the oil is heated, you then will add your mince, which is around 500 grams here, which is standard to most supermarkets. You hear it sizzle because you've heated it up already. And to that, we're going to add a one whole diced onion. And now we're going to cook that until the mints are browned. Once the mints are uh, nearly browned, I also like to add some garlic granules and a nice spice. Mm. And today I'm going to be using jerk seasoning. Great, now what we're going to do is we're going to brown the mince for a few minutes, as you can see, it's they look very good. And I'll fry it away. We've added the garlic and some spice, and now we're going to add some seasoning, which we should add to most dishes of it, give it extra taste. We'll be adding 300 millilitres of cold water mixed with cottage pie mix, which you can get from any supermarket. We're going to add diced carrot. For this dish, you can also add some peas, which is standard. We are now going to bring that back to the boil and we're going to cook it until the water is reduced a bit. Okay, while the, the dish is simmering away, as you can see, we will now concentrate on making the mash. Making the mash is very easy. Today we'll be using your standard generic packet mash which you can also get any supermarket that costs less than a pound that's a quicker and easier option but you can also go down the step of making your own mash using peeled potatoes which you bring to boil and then mash with butter milk and um, we've also added butter and milk to this packet mash while we're cooking and a little hint of garlic which gives it a bit of extra taste. Right next step when the mints have been simmering for about 10 minutes you can take the mints off the hob and add them to a large rectangular Pyrex dish and then once you've done that leaving the mints out you can then add your mash. Now adding your mash should add a nice even layer of the mash. Try and use every last little bit. It's nice to take your time with this bit. The mash will be very sticky and slightly difficult to even out. But if you take your time, 
you can get yourself a nice even coating of mash for which you can then add cheese okay we've added a layer of grated cheese on top of the mash that we evened out you can always have more cheese less mash or more mash and less cheese it's all dependent on your taste we have more cheese than mash here because we we like our cheese so what we're going to do is we'll give a light seasoning on top of the cheese we've preheated our oven to around 200 degrees and then all you have to do is stick it in the oven wait for 20 to 25 minutes check in as you go along and all you are looking for is that the cheese has melted and gone to a nice golden topping right we've spent about 25 minutes now so we're gonna check yeah, that's lovely golden brown. All that's left to do is serve up into nice even portions. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. If so, please like and subscribe and keep your eye out for more videos to follow. Thank you.